me out of here. Yeah. I'm running this shit like I'm a fucking pioneer. Got your bitch digging my fine string. Fuck Young Thugger, you hear me? Fuck Young Thug, I'ma say this one time, one time only. And clear, it's day, you hear me? Fuck Black, you hear me? Fuck the whole YSL, you hear me? Straight up, I feel like them niggas trying to blackball me, you hear me? But you can't blackball no nigga like me. Look at me, Black, you hear me? But, yeah, fuck them niggas. It's, it's old murder for them niggas, you hear me? Fuck all of them, you hear me? YSL, nigga. I'm a YSL killer, fuck you. Is what? Oh, it's ah, pressure, huh? Right? It's pressure. It's pressure. Let him know what you... And look, you know, the Third Amendment is we got the right to bear arms. The Second Amendment, whatever the fuck amendment, we got the right to bear arms. You hear me? You know, I'm going to teach my babies to... They got the motherfucking right to know they got the right to bear arms. And if any nigga disrespect them, do anything. It's smoke! Teaching my kids the amendments. I'm doing something wrong by informing my children. Like, I be feeling like y'all want me to lose or something. Like, you the fuck niggas and they feeling fuck? Because I'm teaching my kids the fucking uh, Second Amendment. You hear me? We have the right to bear arms. You hear me? It's guns yeah. up on you, pussy nigga. You hear me? And my kids are fully aware of that. You hear me? Your kids Get are up. already set up to fail anyway. She's right, right, right. They're trying to see. Right. They're they already set up for us to fail. But guess what? I ain't going to let that happen because I ain't fell in life and I, I, I ain't even, I quit school, you hear me? Nigga, still young and successful. So mm. I'm going to give my children that knowledge I have, you hear me? And make sure they are ahead of the game. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like, stop trying to criticize me because I'm helping my children. A lot of you niggas that's, and everybody in them, a lot of people in them comments, that's, y'all really want to see me down, you hear me? Y'all saying that shit because y'all want me to just stop doing, y'all trying to trick. Yo, what's going on, my YouTube fans? Your boy Zay Esco, back with another video. In this episode, we're talking about King. Now, I know everybody probably think, like, oh, this nigga Zay about to clown the fuck out this nigga, but nah. I mean, because honestly, I'm not even surprised, yo. Like, what people don't understand is it's so hard nowadays trying to make it. Like, I, I see why people do the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand it. Not saying I condone it, but I understand it. I see so many good artists every day that gets no shine, you know, like no shine at all. Nobody want to fuck with you. Like you can post your music every day and your own people won't even repost. You know what I'm saying? They might like it a couple times, might get a couple comments. But people really don't fuck with it, even though they know your music good. Now, let you do some dumb shit to go viral, and now them same folks fucking with you. Now, everybody, oh, yeah, bro, I went to school with, bro, I know, bro, da-da-da-da, you know what I'm saying? Now, everybody on your page trying to see what you're doing. Your followers go up. Now, you got the attention you wanted to push your music. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, but that's what society does that's what social media does a lot of these folks are raised off of social media and social media shit is crazy dog it's brainwashing people like i know real live people that got hella followers post pictures every day with them with new clothes on you know what i'm saying they got the new cars and all this money but in reality them rented cars or them your big homie cars or that's your homeboy t-shirt oh that's a shirt you about to take back because if you look close he still got the tag on it oh that ain't even real money that's prop money you know what i'm saying like social media <laughs> who we so when i seen this king shit i'm like yeah it don't surprise me you know what i'm saying he put out the video first talking shit about ysl and young thug and all them and you know it really ain't go as viral as he expected and then next thing you know boom he posted a video with his children holding guns and you know what i'm saying one of the children looked like the baby was a couple months she in his lap holding the gun she pushing it away and grabbing it you know what i'm saying all the bullshit and you know my first reaction is like yo what the fuck are you doing like yo come on now you tripping but then i looked at the views 
And I looked at the comments and I looked at how many people was interacting, how many people was reposting, how many people posted it on YouTube. He got what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And I seen the argument, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, well, you know, white people do it all the time. Nobody say nothing about it. Yeah, that's true. And then I seen the argument about, oh, this nigga a whole ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Why you doing some bullshit like this? You know, they children, da, 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 da. And I agree with that, too. And it may sound harsh, but shit, I really don't give a fuck. It's like, <laughs> he not the first and he not the last. You know, I want my children, like, if I'm not at home and my children at the house by themselves, you know, well, I only got one now, but I'm saying in the future, like, my children at home by themselves, somebody try to break in, like, I want them to know how to defend themselves, like, oh, go get the gun, bust that nigga ass, you know what I'm saying, or hide, do something, but I'm not going to put that out for social media to see, you know what I'm saying, like, if you're training your children on how to protect themselves, I feel like that's fine, you know, with guidance, that's cool, but in this situation, it wasn't no, oh, I'm training them to learn how to shoot, no, you just gave some kids a gun to sit there and play with, now, I don't know if they was loaded or not, but I'm just saying, what if the gun was loaded and they accidentally pulled the trigger, now you got a whole another issue on your hand, and I can't even feel sad for you, I feel sad for them, but I can't feel sad for you because you put them in that situation. You wasn't trying to train them on how to be safe and, you know what I'm saying, learn how to shoot. No, my nigga, you told them to say some shit for an Instagram video and hold the guns for an Instagram video. It's a big difference. But like I said, I don't, I can't really say nothing about it, bro, because that's what people want to see, bro. People want to see the bullshit. People want to see negative shit all the time. They love it. They eat it up. If you're a rapper, you're not really going to make it unless you got money or know somebody. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know somebody and you ain't got no money, what you going to do? You going to try to do some viral shit? You going to try to do some bullshit to get on? Because niggas don't give a fuck no more, bro. They just want to see who going to be the next soldier boy, who going to be the next 6 9 who going to do some dumb shit. Like, that. that's all people care about, bro. And it's sad, but it's the reality of the situation. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. I'm not going to give it no more attention, you know what I'm saying, because I already know what the deal is. But thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure. If you're new to the channel, you come back and you subscribe and you click that bell so you can be notified when I upload. And as always, I appreciate the support. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. I'm out. Peace.